Darlo Tulele is the first guy when Utah got into the Pac-12 that was not just a Pac-12 talent, but an upper echelon Pac-12 talent. Whereas Utah had really good Mountain West Conference players, Starlo Tulele was the first guy, I think, who showed up and said, not only am I good on this team, I'm good in this conference. And he showed it in games where he was able to come out and dominate and really kind of change the landscape for the years. Buffaloes, still alive. Hirschman brought down and there is the All-American star, Lotu Lale. The biggest and fastest lineman Utah's maybe ever had. He is so quick and so powerful, and he's silent. No one has ever heard star Lotu Lele talk. He just strikes fear in the hearts and minds of young men. Quiet, let his play speak for itself. He was a guy that didn't like to talk to guys like me. He just liked to go out and play football. And he was probably of the Whittingham era, probably the most dominant defensive lineman. A two-time All-Pac-12 first-team selection, Star Latulele won the 2011 Morris Trophy as the Pac-12's top defensive lineman and was named the Sun Bowl Defensive MVP in the Utes' victory over Georgia Tech. Literally, he did, physically, stood out from the crowd. Not only is he a player, but he commands the double team and, you know, and more from the offense. So now, every time you go into a game, the offense coordinator has to figure out a way to account for him essentially two or three times. Latulele returned for his senior year in 2012, where he became just the second Utah defensive lineman to be named a first-team All-American by the Associated Press. Star was absolutely dominant, just blowing up their offensive line time and time again, throwing future NFL offensive linemen around. When Star went full tilt, there was no better defensive lineman in the country during his time at Utah.